Hi everybody, it's Philly from Create and Create here. Today, oh, well, book day. <sighs> every year it rolls round, every year I am not prepared. It's because it's the beginning of half term, or like the beginning of the term, of the half, that I, I just, they send a letter out before half term, I don't think about it all half term, they get back to school and then they go, oh, well book day tomorrow or Friday, whatever day it is. I'm like, oh. So uh, we're only doing one costume this year. One of them is going, oh, well one of them's going as Doctor Who, which I've already made that costume. One is going as Lemony Snicket. So that's just a blazer and a, oh no, not Lemony Snicket, uh, Count Olaf from Lemony Snicket. So that's just a blazer, a pair of trousers and then a tattoo on the ankle. And the smallest one has decided that she wants to go as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Normally, I would be really bothered by the fact that they are TV characters and movie characters and not book characters, but we're running with it this year, we're running with it. So I have managed to get, this is the pattern that I bought from um, Hobbycraft. This is the McCall's M7459. And I think that A is gonna be perfect for a little Dorothy dress. And I have some of this fabric, which, I mean, we'll squint, we'll squint. And it can be, oh, it's got a thread on it. We'll squint and it can be a perfectly acceptable um, pinafore, blue pinafore, just like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Let's get going then. Oh, I'm in a bit of a quandary as to what to do with the um, white top from underneath as well. I'm gonna go to a charity shop this afternoon. I'm gonna see what they've got. And absolute worst case, absolute worst case because I have no time. I could always like crochet some lace to go round a school shirt, right? Do you think that will look okay? Like a little thingy. Oh no, she had a high neck, didn't she? We'll see what the charity shop's got. Right. We have two fronts, two backs, two straps, two buttons, two waistbands. That looks too big. I might have to cut it down a bit. And two skirts. Let's shove it all together, shall we? Oh, tell you what, I've looked through the instructions. I reckon I'll have this done by the school run. First step, front bib, right sides together. Oop. So along the top. Right, turned it inside out and I'll give it a bit of a press in a minute when I go back to the ironing board. For now, I'm going to So, so, um, Press them in half, the straps. I'm gonna sew down one and along, along the long side and then turn them inside out and then give them a good press. So we're moving on to the back. We have two back pieces. We're gonna take one back piece and attach the, oh, that way round. Attach the straps and baste them on this top line along here. Let me get some pins. Oh, have I got clips? Ugh. By the way, for anyone who's uh, been watching my lives, Rodney's back. And for anyone who hasn't been watching my lives, go back and find out who Rodney is. I'm sure Chardonnay will be along soon. They're basted on top and now I need to put the other one over the top and then go across all the three edges 
encasing it inside. Oh, making sure not to accidentally get the straps. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Managed to catch that a little bit, but um, I'm all right with it. Um, so, waistband. And what it wants me to do, move my buttons out of the way, is to baste the front and the back onto the waistband, onto one piece of the waistband. Oh look, it does look big enough. Now I've done that. Oh. Right, let's see. like with the front back in the waistband now onto the skirt I just need to put the two skirt pieces together let's have a look yeah two skirt pieces together oh hang on stitch side seams leaving left side seam free above circle so from there, leave that free. I'm assuming so you can get in. Zipper? I wasn't informed of a zipper. What is that one for? Oh, no, it's not. It's just for... It is. Oh, my days. Why don't you find a zip then? Okay. So, no, I'm not going to put the two sides together. I'm going to put my zip in. I found a nice little one in my stash so I'm gonna do my invisible zipper trick she says I'll find some pins and pin this in place and then sew around the edges with the fibre mood circle skirt that I did the other day I didn't put the zip close enough to the top and it left like a really big gap so I'm going to make sure that I put it right to the top this time and see how we go with that it's got a hair on it get off I have to find my zipper foot as well which is in my big box of stuff I'm getting the feeling I'm not going to get this done by the school run. Oh. I have done the school run and I am wet and my hair is curly and the dress is not looking finished. Um, I'll put the skirt on, so I'll put the zip in and then i put the skirt onto the waistband and finish that off. Now I've got to do the straps but the straps are really long so because it's going on with a button not going through a um what are they called like a clasp i think i'm gonna have to shorten the um straps a bit i'll show you what okay. i mean skirt in the waistband um i have measured it on tiddler and she so the button need the button hole needs to go there really for it to sit right but that's a lot of dangle isn't it so i might shorten them or should I put the buttonhole in first and shorten them second no no I'll shorten them and then I'll put the buttonhole in right so after dinner I've finished would you like to see hang on let me see if I can ta-da it looks a little bit funny because of the way I'm holding it but actually I I feel there's a bit too much up the top but overall pretty happy i'll show you a nice picture tomorrow um but for now i'm going to have a little rack of my brain about how i'm going to do the top 
<sighs> Good morning. It's the next day. Here is the finished product. I She tried it on this morning and I'm convinced that this is too big at the top. It's got too much gape in it. But it's a costume. We're not going to worry about it right now. Oh, look. I've come honing dungarees. Um, I have also found a shirt, one of hubby's old work shirts. Ooh, I'm gonna try and cover up where he's working. So now I'm gonna have to somehow work out how to get this into this. My thinking is I'm just gonna cut, no, oh, hang on, you come a bit closer. I'm gonna cut the top of the collar off. So this bit here, I'm gonna cut that off and then that will be the um, top neck. These are gonna to have to be balloon sleeves. So I'll just put some elastic, I'll shorten them, put some elastic in, but I need to do something about this. It's just too much fabric. So I might need to cut the sides and then bring it in. Piece of cake. Right, let's get hacking quickly in printer related news we've got it working and not only is the cat enjoying you better not be wet <gasps> not only is the cat enjoying sitting on it but i've managed to get loads of patterns printed i've got one two three four five six six patterns seven patterns one of them is the hunter jacket that i talked about in the fiber mood um video it was seven pages would have cost me a fortune to um have it printed the roll of paper was £23 and yep stop you're gonna get it wet cats getting cat um the what was I saying the ink is running out it's getting really really low can you see can you see where it's starting to go a bit orange but I don't mind because as long as I can see dots and lines then that's fine so I'm just going to keep printing patterns and try not to get them wet until it runs out of ink completely and then it can go back onto Gumtree and go, honestly. <sighs> I have hacked at it. I just need to fold it in half to make sure that the sleeves are the same length, but I think I'll probably shorten them up even more actually, because she's only got little sleeves, isn't she? Um, I just wanted to leave a lot for the elastic casing, but overall, that's what the neckline looks like. I was gonna put a ruffle on it, but I've looked at the picture and I don't think that it needs a ruffle. I think I'm gonna ruin it if I go two in deep so i just need to go up the sides and then put some elastic in the sleeves then we should be done oh i hope you didn't want this shirt hmm. i have moved the pocket up a little bit i'm not fussy about the fact that it's not very tidy because it's going to be under the pinafore dress anyway i just wanted to cover up the logo and i have made two elastic tracks for the sleeve and then I'm going to pop the elastic in and then just sew up the sides. Should be done. Ta-da! I'm quite pleased with that, you know? I think, yeah. I mean, it's only a costume. It's only for the day. It's for aesthetics. Not like to be worn-worn. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Hmm, it's 
smug face. Don't know why I didn't think to do that to start with. But so she'll have to have the buttons on the back and then she can have the nice bit, or well that bit on the front. And it'll look really nice on the little collar, won't it? Do you think I should put a blue bit round there? No, I'm not gonna ruin it. Well, I'm not gonna add any more. I've got to do some shoes. I'm gonna go out tonight, see if I can find some red shoes. If not, because it's tomorrow. Um, I'm going to, I've got some red um, stretchy jersey, which I can just like sew like some socks, can't I, and just put them over her shoes. And then she'll have little red shoes as well. We've got a billion teddies, which um, she will take as totos. But overall, oh, and maybe a, we've got a couple of tutus I might put underneath this to make it floof out a bit. But overall, I'm happy. And that is my homemade, mum-made costume for World Book Day for Dorothy. Wonderful. She better enjoy it. <laughs> I wish there was some sort of prize for the most, the mum with the most effort. I certainly won't be the mum with the best costume, but if I could be the mum with the most effort, or maybe not the most effort, the most cheap outfit... <laughs> Maybe the one, the one where the mum managed to source all the things from her house and bodge it together to make a costume. I would like to win that award. That would be very nice. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you very soon. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs>